Okay, ladies and gentlemen, on this next problem, we're given two functions, f of x equals 20 and g of x equals 0.4. And we're asked to find the following. f composed with g of x and then g composed with f of x. All right, let's start here. If I want to find f composed with g of x, I take x and I put it into g. So in other words, I'm going to find <clears throat> I'm going to find g of x first. Then I'm going to put that answer into f to get my final answer for this question. Now, leave f alone. g of x g of x is 0.4. It's a constant function. g of x is always 0.4. Now, we're supposed to put 0.4 now into function f. But a lot of students get confused here because they're like, well, what do I do with the 20 and the 0.4? Okay, nothing. What is the answer to function f? f of x is 20. 20 is constant. So what this rule is telling me right here is no matter what I put into f, I'm going to get out the answer 20. So to be completely honest, this point 4 is irrelevant. f of anything is going to be 20. And the reason behind that is f of x is a constant function. No matter what you put in, the answer will be 20. So that is my final answer to this first problem. Now when I come over here and I want to find g composed with f of x, I take x and I put it into f to start with. You okay down there, Trevor? I take I, I find f of x to start with, and then I put that answer into g. Alright, see what we got. f of x, f of x is constantly 20. So f of x is 20. Now to continue with the problem, I put 20 into g. But g is also a constant function. No matter what I put into g, regardless of what this is, my answer is 0.4. g of anything is always 0.4. Therefore, g of 20 is also 0.4. And we're done.